Hey everyone, I'm in Ireland at the moment. I arrived here a few days ago from Asia. It uh, was quite a long journey to get here, but uh, one thing that I really like to do, if I know I'm gonna be traveling far distances and I know I'm gonna be sitting down on buses or airplanes for a long time, what I like to do beforehand is some uh, exercise. I just find that it really helps to uh, kind of relax and prepare my mind for the journey and uh, relax my body and it helps me to recover quicker from the uh, traveling. Um, sometimes I'll do some really intense uh, resistance training and then I'll just sit down and eat and recover. Sometimes I'll do some intense cardiovascular exercise uh, and other times I'll do what I call a meditative jump rope. And that's what I did uh, before this journey. Over the years, I've studied a lot of material about breathing written by everyone from yogis, Buddhists, Greek philosophers and doctors to athletes like boxers and martial artists. From this study and through personal experiments, I've come to learn that one of the easiest ways to optimize your health and general well-being is proper breathing, specifically breathing through your nose. If you breathe with your mouth, you draw cold, dry air into your lungs. And cold, dry air makes your airways tighten and constrict. So breathing becomes more difficult and your lungs are less able to process oxygen and transport this oxygen to your muscles and internal organs. And therefore your health and athletic performance and general well-being will suffer. In contrast, when you breathe with your nose, your nose warms the air that you breathe to body temperature before it reaches your lungs. And your nose also adds moisture to the air you breathe. And this helps to keep your airways from drying out and basically makes your lungs more efficient at processing oxygen and transporting it to your muscles and internal organs. Furthermore, unlike mouth breathing, your nose acts as a filter catching and trapping tiny particles before they can get into your lungs and therefore helps protect you from germs, bacteria, and other pollutants. So, as you can see, there are many reasons why you should consider nose breathing. One of the main benefits of nose breathing is related to the fact that there is nitric oxide in your nose, and when you breathe through your nose, you carry a small amount of nitric oxide into your lungs. Basically, nitric oxide is a potent vasodilator that opens and relaxes the arteries, and therefore it plays a critical role in lowering blood pressure and improving circulation, delivering much needed oxygen to the heart muscle and other organs like the brain. In fact, popular erectile dysfunction drugs like Viagra and Cialis increase the production and release of nitric oxide. So breathing properly could even have a positive increase on your virility. When you are at rest, Practice breathing with your nose and focus on breathing with your diaphragm rather than your upper chest. A lot of people are upper chest breathers and this can really lead to a lot of stress and anxiety. Instead, when you inhale, your stomach or belly should expand and when you exhale, your belly should deflate. So try not to breathe with your upper chest. Instead, try to breathe air into your belly. And when your nose breathing, Try to breathe in a gentle, controlled fashion. Try to breathe so lightly that you can't even hear yourself inhaling or exhaling. And when you exhale, try to do so slowly. When you get comfortable at breathing through your nose while resting, try to practice nose breathing while you exercise. So you could begin by performing gentle exercise like walking and try to breathe only with your nose, not your mouth. If you find yourself having to use your mouth to inhale or exhale, simply lower the exercise intensity so that you can go back to breathing through your nose. And with practice, you'll be able to exercise at higher intensity and still breathe through your nose, which is a sign that you are increasing your fitness and athletic potential. I recently made a video, which you can see on my YouTube channel, in which I do over 110 unbroken double unders in a row. And even though this is an extremely intense exercise, I felt really calm and relaxed while performing all these double unders. And I do believe it's because I've been practicing nasal breathing for quite some time. While I was doing all these double unders, 
I was inhaling and exhaling in a very gentle fashion using just my nose. And this really helped to keep me very relaxed. And if you ever watch uh, high level athletes like boxers train or uh, fight, you'll notice that they also often try to nose breathe because it helps to keep them relaxed and it really can help them increase their athletic performance. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. Um, if so, please give it a thumbs up. And for lots of other cool fitness videos and jump rope videos and tutorials, please check out my channel, The Way of the Jump Rope, and uh, consider subscribing. I'm really passionate about jumping rope and fitness, and I want to help others become leaner, stronger, faster, healthier, happier. All right, thanks for watching.